I can't believe I haven't shown y'all this already. Power Query does a lot of cool things for us. And one ongoing issue is an alternative to VLOOKUP TRUE. That's VLOOKUP where we have to assign categories to different values. One solution is to stack up conditions in an added column. That's great if you've got two or three conditions, but if you've got more than that, then it can get tedious and error prone to start stacking those things up. I've done a video on this before, and I will leave a link to it, and that is a purely dynamic solution to this. What I'm gonna show you now is about putting your values in bins. Here's our data. We've got tests and we've got results. We need to bring over those levels. We need to show that M34G40 falls within the OK range. It's greater than 25 and it's less than 45. And we need that for the entire column. All right, let's do it. Put the cursor in the table from table slash range. Here's our data. I'm going to highlight this result column. Go to add column. Column from examples, from selection. Now I've got to train it. 35 is okay. 63, awful. 40 is okay. Now notice that Power Query is building a formula for us based on our inputs and is trying to guess, is trying to help us out. So let's train it a little more. We need to give it a fail. Okay, 106 is a fail, 108 is a fail, scroll down, 14 is a pass, 49 is warning, 58 is awful. Now let's click OK and then we're going to look at this formula. So we've got our tiers in here, fail, awful, warning, pass. Now we got to fix the true tiers here. 66 is the fail point, not 106. Let's fix that. Awful is greater than or equal to 57. Warning is 45. OK is 25. Hit enter. Let's scroll down. Everything has the proper level. The 10 shows a pass. 55 shows warning. Everything is right. Let's close and load this to the workbook. You want to use this if your categories are stable. If they're not going to change on you. Maybe these are long-standing industry standard levels that aren't going to change or they're rarely going to change, then you do this. If your categories do need to change, then maybe you do a drill down or you use the method in the video. I'm going to link for the VLOOKUP true alternative. For those of you who are going to be at the Amsterdam Excel Summit 2019, see you next week. Everybody else, see you in the next video.